Welcome to Tiffin Box TV. I'm your host, Seishu. I speak with photography industry leaders who make it a habit of inspiring others, bridging craft and commerce to help you create a sustainable and creative business. Today's guest is Isabel Azalea. She's a photographer based in Orlando, Florida, and we've been friends uh, for a number of years now through, well, through the Facebook forums and things like that. But um, I wanted to, to introduce you uh, all to her because she's come up with something really cool. Uh, she's a former scientist turned personality testing family portrait photographer who for those who love their family but don't love being photographed. I mean, this is huge. If you're a family photographer, you need to listen up. Um, she greatly values freedom. And with that comes a deep desire to see if people to live out the lives they were meant to live as the masterpieces they are. I love that. I love that. One of the hardest parts of selling for Isabel after starting her business was understanding a complete stranger and being able to sell to them like an old friend. Uh, I think we all want to do that, right? We want to all want to connect with people and being able to sell to people without having to feel kind of like we're salesy. And she's found a way to do that. Um, She's found that a lot of in different industries have their way of teaching how to sell to a different personality type, but the majority of them just give you clues to look for to find that personality type. Now, what she's done as a scientist, uh, she basically found a way. So she's needed something, something more precise, and so she developed her personality test and questionnaire that dives deep into a client's psyche so she can capture that family as they truly are and make the whole photography experience stress-free. Wow. Um, when she sent me this little bio, folks, I jumped because this is amazing. Um, this is exactly what we are all deep down wanting to do for our clients, being able to really serve them in a way that's honest and true and authentic and, 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 and really in a way where they are being helped. And you can't help people without really knowing or understanding who they are. And so, Isabel, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I know that was a very long introduction, uh, perhaps one of my longest, but oh, wow. it, <laughs> it, it deserves uh, mentioning because I think, uh, you know, as I said, when we, before we started recording, you know, a lot of people will say, hey, listen, uh, this is who I am. These are my accomplishments. And uh, you, your, your bio is very specific. It went right to the point of what you are really doing right now and which is helping mm -hmm. clients and helping photographers now soon enough yeah, really soon. <laughs> connect, connect with their clients. Um, how did this all come about? I know you're a scientist. Uh, you, yeah. you know, again, you, when we started recording, you said you were, <laughs> you were involved in, building or inventing a laser machine or something i don't i it was, yeah <laughs> it's just so it was just amazing <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're, you're a photographer now uh yes. so tell us a little bit about your evolution from scientist to photographer and how you've decided to really focus on helping families in orlando yeah yeah. Okay. So, um, I'm kind of a little bit of a jack of all trades is how a lot of people end up describing me. Um, I did really well in theater and, um, I did really well in the sciences and the math. And when it came time to go to college, it was, I could go into theater, but I had only this little amount in scholarships and I had a full scholarship for the sciences and I had $5,000 total to go to college. So <laughs> I had to go with the school that gave me the Fulbright scholarship for the sciences. And um, so I went and I did the science stuff. Um, I kind of stayed very much in the box. I did my research, which I really loved. But then everyone told me, well, you have to go into the um, into the corporate world to really make it in, in here and make all this money and things like that. So I did that and I hated it. And it was at the same time that I got married and my wedding photographer started asking me, will you come out and shoot um, weddings with me? Because she saw that I had like a completely manual film camera and everyone was digital at this point. So <laughs> um, I went out and shot weddings with her and then I just kind of couldn't take the corporate world anymore. And so I decided, okay, I'm going to go ahead and, and start this photography business. And I was kind of terrible at first with 
all of my selling stuff, um, people would come over and it was like the only people that I could book were the fellow scientists. <laughs> Everyone else, I didn't know how to like sell to them. They would end up leaving. They just didn't get me. I didn't get them. It was really difficult. And so I ended up looking around online like how do you sell to certain people because I didn't know how to do it and at the same time I'm trying to get feedback from the clients that I did have. How is it that I shoot? What's my style? And each client would actually reply according to how I shot for them. So like my high school seniors would come back and say, you're really fashion-like. And then my families would be like, you have these warm, nostalgic photos. And, <laughs> and so then I started realizing that I was actually picking up on different people's personalities. And that was really what I was photographing. But I needed to find a way to do this when I was selling. So I started looking up different personality types. You know, my mom had studied about like the melancholic, choleric, like all those things like years ago. And I, so I knew about that stuff. And then I kind of through like looking up all of these different things, I found certain questions that really good salesmen would ask. And I came up with some of my own questions that I knew my clients deal with all the time. And out came a personality quiz. And I've been using that for four years, and um, now I don't do pre-consultations, but for two years I did pre-consultations religiously. And so the clients would actually come in, I would barely even talk with them, and I would just hand them the quiz, and then I would go get them their snacks, and then come back, and by the time I came back, they were done with the quiz, and then I knew that like, okay, mom really knows what it is that she wants, but dad's only worried about the money. And so I knew how to sell to those two personalities that I had in front of me to make them both very comfortable. Very cool, yes. very cool. So you've been, <laughs> you've been at this for four years yep. uh, and you've been able to really, I guess the word is uh, sharpen your tool set over the years and, and come up yes. with the better, better and better questions um, yes. for, for your clients. Now your clients happen yeah. to be uh, families, uh, yes. but, but they're also seniors and they're also, you know, they could be wedding couples, right? Oh yeah. I've shot all of it. Like <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I did, I started out with weddings and then I moved to high school seniors and then I moved to families and then I even did like boudoir for a hot minute. <laughs> <laughs> so I've dealt with all of them and I have found out that these, these, um, this personality test works for all of them. Um, and then I even started going even deeper and I started going into what their personal style is and what it is that they're really made out of, you know. And so then I created actually another personality test. And now I'm figuring out how to streamline it because I was trying to tell other photographers just use this other personality test and then you can direct your clients how to dress. Um, because that's one of the major questions you get as a family portrait photographer. How should I dress? Well, you should dress according to who you are. And, <laughs> and photographers are just like, they don't get it for whatever reason. Maybe I'm just too much of a scientist that I can see it narrow really quick. Um, and so right now I'm actually testing um, a completely new style guide with clients at a lower price point so I can help other photographers with that too later on. <laughs> so so what is what has this done for you and your business? I mean, I'm I'm curious because I think that ultimately that's what photographers are probably going to wonder as well. Uh, mm -hmm. so knowing your clients, yeah. uh knowing the personality type of your clients, uh yeah. does what for you? Um it increased my bookings by 30%. Okay. All right. So wow. for me it was really good. Excellent. And, <laughs> I don't and, know if everyone else is going to have this kind of success. Maybe some people are just awesome at selling anyway. But sure. for me, that selling in person and having to come up with small talk and all of that was just it was really difficult for me because I was trying to talk with them, but I really didn't know anything about them. And, <laughs> right. and so then I would just tell them all about me, but I didn't really know their needs. So right. it increased my sales. So how would this be different from somebody who wants to say, uh, instead of having them fill out a questionnaire or a survey yeah. of any kind, uh, just picking up the phone and having a conversation with them on the phone individually, uh, mm -hmm. and just to get a sense of who they are, uh, the kinds of questions you ask could probably be asked directly to them, right, I imagine? 
Oh um, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, especially at first, when I found out that my que- my, my personality quiz was working, yeah. I started just asking them some of those questions over the phone. Now I've gotten better, but <laughs> that's what I had to do at first so I could get better. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. So, so the, these questions lead into, uh, for 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 lack of a better ex- word, an approach that would be best suited for that particular client, right? Yes, exactly. And then you can tailor your sales pitch to that particular client. So if you have a client, uh, like most of my clients are um, a doctor who's married to either a scientist or an entrepreneur. That's my typical client. So, um, So for my clients, I normally have one person who really can see the vision of it, and I have another person who's extremely analytical and is only worried about, like, money and details and timelines. And so... For me, I can go ahead and say, okay, you person who only is worried about monies and details and timelines, <laughs> I'm going to help you pull out your creativity. And <laughs> for you who's worried about the whole big picture and like, am I going to be really stressed out that day and then I'm going to look stressed in the pictures, I'm going to send a hair and makeup artist to your house to get you ready. And then that calms her down. You know what I mean? So, awesome. Awesome. So you yes. give people uh, sort of a... Uh, a, not, I don't want to call it a script, but it's it's a way to sort of uh, maybe it's a template where yeah. kind of personal personality type A, you know, you approach them in this manner, uh, personal personality type B in this manner and so on yeah. and so on. Right. Is that the, yes. is that the gist of it? Yeah, that's the gist of it. Yeah. OK, awesome. <laughs> so you have you have uh, how many personality personality types have you sort of uh, are you describing or d- discovered? Yeah, so it's four. four. Um, okay. I start out um, with um, the first one's a big picture. Okay. And so that's the person who's like creative enough and good enough with details and timelines and money. And then the next one is my imaginative. And that person's really super creative, but like has no idea about details, timelines, and money. Like, like they need help. And <laughs> then comes my analytical. Mm-hmm. which is really great with details, timelines, and money, but they have no idea how to actually describe to you what it is that they want as their pictures. And then the last one is my mystified. This one is going to be your client, and we've all probably had them, who says, my life is too busy. I don't know what to do here and there. They reschedule their ordering appointment five times. These are the people, so you're going to know in advance this person is going to take up four to eight times the amount of time to work with. But the good thing about the mystified ones is that sometimes with them, the more you just chat with them, the more you can sell to them. Hmm. So awesome. you learn that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and I think I asked you this before we started recording, is like, where do these questions come from? And some of them are from obviously from experience. I think worked with these clients for four years. Uh, yeah. you, you sort of get a sense of like what kinds of things would – inspire them to give you an honest that's on that an answer yeah. that's honest uh that that's number one that's always the the concern that i have in my mind is like you send somebody a questionnaire and it's you know there's really there's a there's a fudge factor involved where you don't know whether yeah. they're really giving you the the honest truth or is it there's just sort oh, of like a, look good. yeah if they want to look good right exactly yeah. <laughs> so I, how do you how do you figure for all of that where people are you know, they, they don't really want to reveal because they know the answers are going right to you and they know you're, you're identifying them by their answers. Yeah. So, okay. So in my, in my case with the type of clients that I have who are doctors and entrepreneurs, they live very busy lives. So I just, um, I just send them actually, I have, I have two personality tests, obviously. I have the second one that teaches them how to um, dress, but that one isn't prepared for the public yet. Um, (laughs) that, um, what I do with them is that I have in my questionnaire that I send to my clients, I just have like an area for them to write down, um, what they got for this answer for this personality quiz. So they're actually never sending me back this personality quiz. I have some that like just print everything out and then they'll just stick it all in the scanner and like press send to me. But they're very few and far between. So actually, they're never actually showing me what it is that they've circled now. <laughs> 
I've had it in the past where like, yes, they were right in front of me and I could look through it. You know what I mean? But um, I always start out my, um, my personality tests with just a question that like, okay, this crazy thing happened and like it happens in all of our lives. So like with the mom and dad um, personality test, that one will start out with like, your child told you tonight and at 7 p.m. that he has this huge history project that's due the next day and it includes like an artistic side too. So what are you going to do? <laughs> and like that kind of breaks the ice with them because then they're like, oh yeah, we've all been through this. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And I feel like just like making them laugh and like making them like go through that mental thing of like, oh my gosh, we've all been through this, um, breaks the ice and then they just start answering the, like their normal selves for the rest of the quiz. Awesome, awesome, that's great. Um, do you ever have uh, parents or your clients say, uh, you know, really, I don't want to do this. This is not something I, I'm interested in doing. Is that is that a, a red flag for you, for instance, if someone says that, uh, so that you go, well, I guess it's not a, we're not a good fit. I mean, do you ever, you ever <laughs> to, have you ever told somebody that? Um, I almost did once, and I should have because... Uh, with my high-end version of my business, I actually don't have any minimum orders or anything like that. It's always worked out very well for me. I do realize that offering that could bite me in the butt, and I got bit in the butt this summer, and <laughs> whatever, you lose some money sometimes in business. But um, actually what that tells you from this personality quiz is that uh, this person is probably going to test as the mystified mom. So she's just going to take a lot more time. She's probably going to reschedule things a few times. So just be sure to be extremely clear to her when you are talking on the phone, when you are sending the contract, maybe even highlight certain things in the contract. Like if they reschedule the ordering session five times, you're going to charge them $100. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> Because they're most likely going to end up just going ahead and paying it because they know that they screw up all the time. Their husband is aware of it, that they screw up all the time. Like, you know what I mean? Like they just deal with it. Um, but these are also the people that like when I shot weddings, I, I could upsell an album by an extra thousand dollars to them. Awesome. So, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> One last question for you. I know. And, and you've mentioned moms several times as your yeah. clients, but there are dads involved too. Uh, how do you yes. deal with a dad who's super analytic is is watching his checkbook and saying, listen, we do we really need this? I mean, how do you present it to somebody like that? So for that type of dad, I deal with that dad almost all the time. That is almost always the type of dad I have with my kind of clients. Um, with that dad, your goal is to impress mom so much that dad just says, she basically worked her butt off for me and she deserves money. That's your goal in the end of it. <laughs> okay. is to make that mother so happy or the groom so happy whoever's so happy that he ends up just saying you know what she she just deserves it or he will go ahead and maybe say okay she wanted the 24 by 30 print but I really just want to spend this much and then they'll meet in the middle at 16 by 24 you know what I mean like yeah you might lose a little bit of money but like those types of dads can sometimes be the ones that like all of a sudden all you're doing is buying gift prints and you don't want any client to only buy gift prints. You want them to buy the giant thing that goes on the wall because that's what makes you more money. So, yeah. yeah. Awesome. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. Thank you so much for joining us today, Isabel. It's wonderful to talk to you about your new new product, new resource for photographers. Uh, when, yes. is, when can we expect this to launch? Um, I'm actually hoping... Next week, okay. I actually just put up a link on my website. It's Isabel, I-S-A-B-E-L, Azalea, A-Z-A-L-I-A dot com. Go on the link that says for photographers. You can sign up for my email list, and I'm going to send out a code for the first 50 people that purchase it. They'll get a discount. Awesome. Very cool. <laughs> I love that. Uh, thanks for helping all of us out. I appreciate it. Yes, my pleasure. <laughs> thanks, Isabel. Take care. Thank you.